What you're looking at is some cilantro in early spring that I overwintered. Because I have more cilantro than I can use right now, I'm going to freeze some for later. There are several ways to freeze cilantro, but in today's video I'm going to show you how to freeze cilantro with olive oil. But before we can do that, I need to harvest several plants. After thoroughly washing what I harvested, I removed any large stems and discarded them, leaving only the leaves and smaller stems. Here's a closer look at some of the leaves that I'll be using. As you can see, they just have the smaller stems attached. Using about a handful of leaves at a time, I loosely chop them. Once I have them chopped, I put them in a separate bowl and repeat that process until I have them all chopped. Then I add about a cup of my chopped leaves to a small food processor and then I add the olive oil. I experimented with using different amounts of olive oil and finally settled on about a third cup. I then put the lid on and pulse it a few times, being careful not to puree it. I used a small processor just to demonstrate, but a larger one would be much more efficient. This is what it looks like when it's done and ready to be put in a bowl. Once I have it all in a bowl, then I take a spoon and mix it up before I'm ready to pour. At this point, it's just a matter of spooning it out into your ice cube tray. I think it's important to note that I'm using light olive oil so as not to overpower the taste of the cilantro. Then I try to smooth it out with a spoon and clean it up a little bit before I stick it in the freezer. Then I just stick it in the freezer until it's fully frozen. Once it's frozen, it should look something like this. I found that it's easier to get them out of the tray if I run a little bit of warm water on the bottom side of the tray first. It just takes a few minutes to load them into freezer bags. To help prevent freezer burn, I stuck a drinking straw into one corner of the bag. Then I suck all the air out and then seal it shut. You can also do the exact same thing except substitute water for the olive oil. If you like to freeze cilantro, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.